Introducing the Senex History Manager, a new wave of sophisticated engine analysis and fleet management software brought to you by the well-known and highly regarded Engine Angel Fleet Management Team. In this video, we will cover a brief overview of this powerful new tool. We'll also cover some simple instructions to get you started entering signatures online, as well as tips for reading the assessment reports. With the Senex History Manager software, requesting the one-off assessment gives you immediate feedback straight to your email inbox for a small fee. Very handy for someone wishing to know the status of an engine. As a fleet owner with an Engine Angel subscription, you will link Senex History Manager with your fleet in Engine Angel, empowering you with an unlimited, comprehensive fleet data history with capabilities for engine condition trend and predictive failure analysis. Here's how it works. The Senex History Manager application enables storage of Senex First Look sensor signatures for later retrieval. These sensors capture the waveforms from the exhaust pipe and crankcase while the engine is running and are then mathematically analyzed to obtain an engine assessment report. If you are unfamiliar with the Senex First Look sensor, please click on the Senex methodology link on the SHM website for a video tutorial, as there is no faster, easier way available today to accurately determine the mechanical integrity of any piston engine. Welcome to the Senex History Manager. This is where you will enter the application using your username and password. Once logged into the application, you will see your dashboard. From here, you can access all of the functions you are authorized to perform with the functions clearly identified. Before loading assessments, ensure that your account information is accurate and enter your company account information. Engine signatures captured with a Senex diesel kit and a suitable two- or four-channel scope, such as a picoscope, form the basis for an assessment. Capturing an engine signature in Senex History Manager require identifying the vehicle along with some basic information such as the engine model, temperature, and condition of the engine when the sampling occurred, such as cold crank, idle, or load. In order to receive a one-off immediate assessment, the condition must be set to load, and the approximate engine RPM from your tachometer is also necessary. If you select the load condition, indicating that you are capturing the data while the engine is running at about 1500 RPM, additional items appear, such as a box to indicate whether or not you wish to order a signature assessment and a place for an email address for delivering the report. After verifying your data, use the Browse function to select the correct signature file for upload. The Assessments menu displays a list of all assessments ordered with their status. After the data has been processed, it can be viewed or emailed to someone else. If you are an Engine Angel subscriber, the information can be viewed within that application, along with other data about the vehicle and engine. Reports will arrive in the email you specified and appear like this sample report shown. The first page of the assessment gives the overall assessment value with a color code. The numerical value is between 1 and 10 inclusive, with 1 being the best and 10 the worst. The color changes shade from bright green at 1 to light green at 4 tan to orange from 5 to 7, and pink to deep red from 8 to 10. The rest of the table documents the vehicle and engine information, engine operating conditions at the time of the testing, the file names on the data collection PC, and the file name in Senex History Manager, which must be unique across all vehicles. In most cases, it is only this conclusion that is needed. If the color is green, the engine is running quite well. If the engine has thrown an OBD code, you should probably believe it and take the indicated repair actions. If the engine score is in the 5 to 7 range, you might want to schedule a mechanic to look it over before long because you are likely losing fuel economy and power. Any OBD code may be misleading. 
If the score is between 8 and 9, the engine has significant problems and probably should not be dispatched until fixed. Any OBD code is likely misleading. The following graphics might be useful to determine the nature of a problem by a mechanic to estimate the cost and time to make repairs. The second page of the report gives scores to various components or areas of the engine. Upper engine refers to everything above the valve openings, such as injectors, valves, and gaskets, that affect the pressure of the exhaust from in the tailpipe while the lower engine refers to everything below the valve openings, such as pistons, rings, and cylinder walls, that can be assessed from the blow-by in the crankcase. If the system could not detect a meaningful signature in the file, or if some condition was out of normal range, a disclaimer will be displayed. The engine integrity diagrams show the similarity or dissimilarity among the cylinders. The more similar the cylinders, normally the better the condition of the engine. On the left side, the comparison of the exhaust strokes is illustrated by plotting the exhaust pressure output against the time in milliseconds for each cylinder's exhaust stroke after normalizing the average rotation speed to 1500 RPM. On the right, the blow-by for each cylinder is plotted. Ideal would be all cylinders fairly close to the upper left, with no cylinder off by itself to the lower right of the diagram. The readings of the pressure in the exhaust and the crankcase are shown on the third page of the report. The top graph shows the detailed signature in black and a mathematically extracted smoother curve in green. The difference between the black and green lines is also useful. The crankcase graph is likewise processed to extract lower pressure pulses of blow-by. The graft is time-shifted to show each cylinder's exhaust pressure directly over the corresponding exhaust blow-by during that cylinder's power stroke. The cylinder profiles align the corresponding strokes and the sensor pressures with each other cylinder. The exhaust profile clearly shows the duration of each cylinder's stroke, a measure of the smoothness of the engine. On the right, any severe abnormality would strongly indicate piston ring problems. If they oscillate between negative one and one, there is likely no problem with the lower engine. We hope this short tutorial answers some of your questions on how the Senex History Manager with the Senex First Look sensors can be a valuable tool in helping you to be more efficient and productive please feel free to contact us if you have any additional questions. You can contact Senex Technology by email at sales at senextech.com or by calling our toll-free number at 866-832-8898. To contact Engine Angel, email us at info at engineangel.com or give us a call at 844-ENGINE-4. That's 844 844- 364-4634.